welcome back. It's been a tough few weeks for the chip names. The SMH down double digits since the start of the month. Our Christina Parts Nevels has more on the semiconductor sector. Hi, Christina. Hi, Morgan. So like you said, let's talk with the SMH because it's a barometer for the sector and it's tracking for its fourth straight week of losses. And honestly, it's tracking for its worst year since the great financial crisis in 2008. So what is happening to these names? The supply glut narrative is still a major theme across chips. As demand weakens for electronics and companies are cutting their capital expenditures, many chip customers still need to work through their inventory. And then that means they don't want to buy any more chips. So Micron complained of just this problem last week in their earnings report. They warned they don't expect demand to turn around until the second half of next year. But one of the but right now on today, you can see the stock is one of the biggest winners on the Nasdaq 100, up 1.6 percent. One major move over, over the last day, though, is NVIDIA. It dropped 7 percent yesterday on no particular catalyst. It, if it was data center weakening, you'd expect Intel and AMD would be worse off. But that wasn't the case. And we did get some weak smartphone shipment numbers from China, down 27 percent in October. But NVIDIA has minimal smartphone exposure, unlike Qualcomm. So I spoke to Matt Bryson of Wedbush this morning to figure out why NVIDIA was so down. And he said customers haven't really heard anything particular about NVIDIA. But then Angelo Zeno uh, just told me right now it could be some profit taking because NVIDIA had done a little bit better since uh, coming off its lows in October. And I want to just move to one positive right now, a positive for gaming and in turn semiconductor names. And that is China's recent approval of gaming titles like Pokemon Unite from Tencent. It creates hope that maybe China's government might be moderating its stance on large tech, Morgan.